Okay, so today we want to talk about how to evaluate geometric sequences. Let me give you a geometric sequence. Let's say I have this one. 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay, there's a geometric sequence. Now, what am I doing in this geometric sequence to go from 2 to 4 and 4 to 8 and 8 to 16? Am I adding? Yeah, I'm multiplying by 2 each time. Right? Where in arithmetic sequence, I was adding the same amount every time. A geometric sequence is when you multiply the same amount each time. So to go from 2 to 4, we're multiplying by 2, right? And to go from 4 to 8, we're multiplying by 2 again, right? And 8 to 16, we're multiplying by 2. So a geometric sequence is when you add or... I mean, not, not add. I said it wrong, didn't I? I just told you arithmetic. A geometric sequence is when you multiply or divide by the same amount each time. Okay, let me give you another geometric sequence. Let's say I have 10 and then 5 and then 2.5. What am I doing each step? Dividing by 2, right? Now, dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a half. So I multiply by a half again. Okay. And so if you multiply or divide by the same amount, it's a geometric sequence. So let's look at this one right here. In this problem, it says the first three terms of the geometric sequence are given. They gave me how many of them? Three, three of them. And they say, what is the fourth term in the sequence? Now, the hardest part of this is we got to figure out what are they multiplying negative, eight, oh, no, I mean negative 80 over 9 by to get 20 over 3. And what are they multiplying 20 over 3 by to get negative 5, right? Now here's the way you can think of it. Negative 80 over 9 times what number? I'm going to let n be what we don't know. Negative 80 over 9 times what number makes my result 20 over 3, right? So I'm saying negative 80 over 9 times some number n gives me 20 over 3, doesn't it? And then I can just solve for n. So let's solve for n together. Right here I have negative 80 over 9 times n, so I'm going to divide by negative 80 over 9 on both sides. And so I've got a fraction, 20 over 3. I've got to make sure I put it in parentheses. Divided by negative 80 over 9. And so you get that n equals negative 0.75, or you could say n is negative 3 fourths. So is that my answer? Negative 3 fourths? Is that my answer? Do I put that in this blank right here? No, we're saying that's what we're multiplying each step by. So I'm going to take the third term, negative 5, and I'm going to multiply it by negative 3 fourths, and that gives me 15 over 4, as my next term. So I can put in this blank right here, 15 over 4. What's that as a decimal? 3.75. So I could put in, since it's a terminating decimal, I could put 3.75. Either of these would work. The key to each one of these is figuring out what they're multiplying by. So look at this one. And so on this one, my sequence goes 1 and then 2 thirds and then four ninths, and I'm looking for the fourth one, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're saying one was multiplied by some number n, and the result was two-thirds, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can divide one on both sides, and so n equals two-thirds. That's what each term is being multiplied. So let's take our four ninths, and let's multiply it by two-thirds, and that will give us the fourth term. That gives me 8 over 27. And I'm going to put 8 over 27 in the computer because if I make it a decimal, it's a repeating decimal. And so here we have another geometric sequence. Our first term is negative 28 over 9, and then negative 14 over 3, and then negative 7, and they want the fourth term. So I can say negative 28 over 9 is being multiplied by some number n, we don't know what it is, and the result is negative 14 over 3, right? We're taking this first term 
and multiplying it by some number to get the second term. So I'm saying I'm taking my first term and I'm multiplying by some number n, I don't know what it is, and my result is negative, the second term, negative 14 over 3. Now what do I do to solve for n? So I will divide by negative 28 over 9 on both sides. These cancel. Divide by negative 28 over 9 on both sides. So in my calculator, I'm putting negative 14 thirds divided by negative 28 ninths. And that will tell you what n equals. And so that's the same. This right here, when you have a compound fraction, a fraction on top and a fraction on bottom, it's the same as taking the top fraction and multiplying by the inverse of the bottom, so the flipped bottom like this. Now, 3 goes into 9 three times, and 14 goes into 28 two times, and so that's where the 3 halves is coming from right there. And so your n is 3 halves. So now we've got to take that last term, negative 7, and multiply it by 3 halves, and you get what? Negative 10.5. So that's your fourth term right there.